What's up guys? How are you all doing out there tonight? Hopefully you all had a fantastic day today. A little bit ago we hit 25,000 subscribers on this channel and I'm, I'm blown away. The reason I say we is because without you guys this channel would be nothing obviously. So I'm very grateful for that and it's, you know, it, it's a mark that I never thought would have been possible with this channel you know I never thought 10,000 was was possible um, and here we are chilling at almost 26,000 at this point which is insane um, so I wanted to put together a nice giveaway so here's the deal I have here a hobby box of Don Russ football 2000 18 Donruss football. There's one auto and one mem card in this box. And the reason I went with this rather than like, you know, I was thinking Origins or uh, even XR, something like that. But the reason I went with the Donruss is because of all the really nice autographs I've seen come out of there. They got Hall of Fame autos coming out of there, a bunch of nice inserts, and... I don't know. I think it's a fun rip. I think a box of Donruss is a fun rip. So uh, I picked up that. So that'll be get, given away. Uh, a boombox high end. Uh, now, obviously, with this, um, this isn't the actual box. But I will give them the winner's info, and they will get sent a box. Also, a loot locker to another winner. I want to have five winners here. So a loot locker... A boom box, a sealed hobby box of Don Russ football. I am also giving away a fifty dollar Buck City Breaks break credit. Fifty bucks. Actually it's fifty two bucks. So <laughs> uh yeah. Uh Chris was Chris earlier, I was talking to Chris from Buck City Breaks earlier, and he's like fifty two. Switch the numbers around, that's 25, 25,000 subscriber giveaway, that's a BCB 101, so, which I thought was hilarious, the dude's hilarious, so that should be fun, so you're going to get a $52 uh, gift card to, well, break credit for Buck City Breaks, I have the code for that, so winner will get that, and the fifth prize is going to be probably the least... Uh, probably the least valuable prize, but somebody is going to win a pair of onesie twosie team color booties in whatever your favorite team is, whatever color, or I mean, what, whatever your favorite team is, uh, you'll win a pair of, uh, booties for your feet. So, and that'll obviously be, we can do whatever size, whatever size you need. And that's my wife and I's business, onesie twosie. And we do team color booties, and we, I figured, hey, why not? Let's give a, let's give a pair away to somebody. So uh, we make them fairly often. I mean, we've been making a lot of Packers ones, but I mean, we've made Bears, we've made Cubs, we've done Dolphins, Texans, Cowboys, a uh, bunch of different teams, Patriots. We've done a bunch of different teams. So whatever your team is, we'll hook you up with a pair and. You're going to love them, especially chilling at night in the wintertime. Put those things on your feet, snap them up. They're good. They're good. So, um, other than that, yeah, okay, so that's what's being given away. Here's how you enter. I haven't really thought about this up until right now. So, I'm just going to go off, off, the, off the top. So, in the comments section, let's see. In the comments section, I want you to give me a memorable football moment from your childhood, from growing up. Now, maybe some of you didn't watch football growing up, but what is your most memorable moment from, you know, back aways? I'll give you mine right now. Mine is the Brett Favre to Andre Risen touchdown pass in the Super Bowl where Favre took his helmet off. He's running around with his helmet over his head and Jumping around like a little kid, man, I love that. That that was that was so cool. That had me. I mean, I was jumping around too. I was what, ten years old, nine years old, something like that at that point. So, 
that was that was cool and that was probably my most memorable i mean there's tons there's tons of other memorable moments um but that was probably my most memorable as a child and uh, that kind of kept me interested in the sport. So I'm not going to get into the whole what's going on now with the roughing the passer call and all that other garbage. I just want to kind of go like this with it for now and see what they do because they're having some meeting this week and they're going to discuss it. Hopefully they say chill out on that for a little bit because it's turning a lot of people away and it's unfortunate. So, um, and I myself included, it's like, dude, you guys got to get a handle on this, but that's about as far as I'm going to go in on that. Um, so give me a memorable moment in the comments section for you growing up. I love reading your comments. I love reading them now. Granted, I can't reply to everybody's comment. I wish I could, I wish I could reply to every single comment, but you know, I'm a father to seven kids, and that takes up a lot of my time throughout the day. So the time that I could be sitting there, you know, messaging people and co replying to comments and stuff isn't always there because I'm busy being a dad. I mean, that's just <laughs> kind of the way it is. So I got onesie twosie stuff. I'm a dad. And then, you know, I'm a husband and... Um, then then comes YouTube and cards and stuff. So that that's all all after the fact. Um, but I, I do put as much time into it as I can, and I'm glad that people enjoyed my videos. Um, the one other thing I'd like to ask of you guys is that you do a random act of kindness. Now I've I've asked people to do this in the past. Um, random act random act of kindness for for a giveaway video. Now obviously there's no. Um, way I can verify that you that you did a random random act of kindness but I don't want to say only do it to somebody in the hobby but that would be kind of cool having everybody who entered the giveaway do a random act of kindness for somebody that's in the hobby you know you got a card that somebody needs for the rainbow or something or pick a random person off of Twitter or Instagram and be like hey dude I'm gonna send you something and just just shoot them something that would be kind of cool otherwise if you can't do that if you're unable to do that which is understandable for some people do a random act of kindness in your community now I'll tell you this much the time that you have that is your most value the, the most valuable thing that you could ever give somebody is your time it's invaluable it's not unvaluable it's invaluable you can't put a price tag on your time as the most valuable thing you have so to take some time out of your day to help somebody to legit do a random act of kindness randomly you know and that could be something as small as holding the door for an elderly couple or um giving a meal to a homeless person or it could be any number of things. Helping your neighbor with something. You see them out there struggling with something. Help them with whatever they're doing. Could be a number of different things. So um, at any rate, I, I believe that we should all be kind to one another. Um, I You know, I do see a lot of trolling going on. And I, I guess that that's just the way that things, that things go. People troll. You know, a lot of times it's younger kids. I mean... I don't know. It sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it goes a little bit too far. It's fine to troll once in a while, but I think we should all be all work on being kind to each other and you know what? We have a nice little hobby going here. We have cool we have cool things going, man. We collect we collect football cards, like this nice Jordy Nelson Spectra. Um, we collect football cards. And if we can get some enjoyment out of it and also bring some joy to other people through this hobby, I think that's mission accomplished. So I would like to see some random acts of kindness done. And that means let's, let's try to pick out people that we don't normally, that we don't normally deal with, that we can be nice to. So that's going to do it. So 
your football, your your best, most your most fond football memory from growing up, from watching football, or heck, even playing football. I suppose you know what what's your most fond memory. Um, and then I'd like everybody to do a random act of kindness, really, really and truly, man. So there are going to be five winners, um, and this will be done. I'm going to give everybody like a week. Well, oh, man, my wife and I are at at the mall for a full week next week. Um, I'll make it happen. I'll make, I'll make the, the randomization happen at some point, but let's just, uh, get those entries in. Now I, I prefer that you were a sus subscriber seeing as how this is a subscriber giveaway. Um, understandable if you're not, if you're not a subscriber, you can still enter. I don't care. Um, I just want to see, I just want to read some comments. Um, I'll try to respond to as many comments as I can, but I already alluded earlier that it is very difficult to keep up. So, and I, I got to take care of my duties within the household first and YouTube obviously has to come after that. So, um, yeah, that is going to do it for this video, guys. I hope, I wish you all the best of luck in the giveaway. I can't wait to give that hobby box away and see what somebody pulls out of it. Uh, when I bought it today, Wally said that there's a Baker Mayfield out of five in there. Is there? I don't know. So, um, and then the loot locker and uh, the boom box and, you know, the break credit and the booties. I, I can't wait. I'm personally, my wife and I personally make those. I'll be cutting them out. My wife will be sewing them. I'll be putting the snaps on them and getting them all ready to get, get shipped out to you. So, uh, it's made with made by by hand handmade stuff so that is going to do it for this video guys thank you all for watching and thank you so much for 25,000 subscribers i i can't begin to tell you uh what it means and i i just i just very much appreciate it so thank you all for watching i'll be back with another video soon